In this short video, I want to explain what are initiatives in Azure Policy and what do they mean for guest configuration. I'm picking up right where I left off after the first video where we talked about how to discover this content. I'm going to click on Audit Applications Inside Windows VM, which we can see is an initiative with two individual definitions or two policies inside of it. Initiatives are really just a way to group definitions into one logical construct. That makes your life easier because you don't have to assign multiple definitions to get what you wanted, which is to go perform this check. In order for the guest configuration content to do its job, we actually need to load an extension on a virtual machine in Azure, which gives us an agent to go conduct the check. So this first definition is a deploy if not exists, which means look at the virtual machine, add the VM extension, and then be able to go scan for the actual setting that the policy is looking for. Once that information is returned, then we have an audit if not exists that can go understand if the machine is compliant or not compliant based on the results. That's two separate policy definitions, but you don't have to worry about assigning each of them individually. They're combined into this initiative so that whenever you're ready to assign uh, this content to a scope in Azure, you've only got one thing that you need to worry about. If you want more information about how this works step by step, you'll see a short code in the beginning of our description text, aka.ms slash gcpol for guest configuration policy, gcpol. Just type that into your address bar. It'll take you directly to our documentation and you can get a lot more detail. Thank you, and in our next video, we'll talk about how to actually assign this to a scope in Azure.